In Batman Forever, Robin, also known as Dick Grayson, is introduced as a young acrobat in the Flying Graysons, a family of circus performers. After witnessing the tragic murder of his family by the villain Two-Face, Dick is taken in by Bruce Wayne. Driven by a thirst for vengeance, he initially clashes with Bruce, who is reluctant to allow him to seek revenge. As the story progresses, Dick discovers Bruce's identity as Batman and persuades him to let him become his partner in fighting crime. Adopting the mantle of Robin, he joins Batman in battling Gotham's villains, including Two-Face and the Riddler. Throughout the film, Dick learns the importance of justice over vengeance and the value of teamwork evolving into a crucial ally for Batman in his mission to protect Gotham City. Hey you everyone! Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we take a nostalgic trip back to Gotham City with McFarlane's latest collectible wave of Batman Forever. I'll start with the boy wonder, Robin. Let us start with the packaging. The front of the box states DC Multiverse Robin and it is number two of four characters to collect to build Nightmare Bat. It has a huge clear window where you can see the figure and everything that comes with it. At the right side of the box, we see the logo of the movie, McParlane Toys Robin, Batman Forever. The left shows a continuation of the clear window, McFarlane Toys, DC Multiverse, Robin. Finally, the back of the box shows a photo of the collectible figure, Nightmare Bat. The part of the collectible included in this figure and a photo of all the characters in the way. Now, let us crack this thing open and see if McFarlane did justice to this character in action figure form. The figure stands at 7 inches or 18 centimeters. For accessories, he comes with the standard McFarlane art card with a short data file at the back. I kind of wish that they gave us a head sculpt that is like this, you know, shouting face. Standard McFarlane base with the DC logo. Ironically, they gave us a pair of weapon holding hands. I said ironically because he doesn't come with any weapons. No, no battering, not even a post up. A pointing hand. And a wide open hand. And that's all for the accessories. For the build up figure part, it comes with one of the wings. This is looking like this is going to be a huge build to collect wave. Now, let's have a closer look at the figure. Now guys, don't get me wrong. I do I am excited and I do like the Two-Face and the Riddler figure that is in this wave. But to be honest, when I saw this Robin figure, I kind of I kind of wanted more in the wave. I think I know that we already have a Robin in the Batman and Robin uh we but this costume looks amazing because in a way it is kind of like a cross between the movie version and the comic version and the cherry on top of this one is the wired cape which is made up pretty good material and it is 
and it has two colors so it is black in the outside and yellow in the inside for the head sculpt again i think they definitely got the look of the actor playing robin yeah it is a pretty good head sculpt now i'm not sure if this is a new body mold i'm thinking that it is because i really like this torso for the robin figure i just kind of think that they should have made the color more metallic because i the first thing that I actually noticed when I was watching this movie is how metallic color the costume of Robin is. So, yeah, I do like the color of it. It, it actually play, it, it actually pays homage to the comic version of Robin as far as the color is concerned. But I, I want I wanna it to look more like the movie, which is very metallic color. So let's just have one close look and appreciate the sculpt and paint job they made to the figure. So that's the boots. There's the there's a bat logo on the boots. The belt. For the back yeah this is a well sculpted and painted figure the robin dog by the way is uh, sculpted and painted very sharply and of course bad nifles Now for the articulation, let me start with the cape because I consider this an articulated cape because it is wired. So it has wires on the two sides of the figure, which I kind of wish that McFarlane adds more wire to it. I know it will be more cost, but I guess it works. Now for the head it can look that far it can look there it can look up only that far it can look down that far then side to side so that's it for the head articulation for the hands you can do the tifos that, that. And then he has a bicep cut, double jointed elbow, double fagged wrist. Abdominal cut. May I say that this is one of the better abdominal cut? It it is it doesn't have that much gap. And if he looks that, that's good. If he looks down, okay, yeah. May I just say, this is one of the best abdominal cut that McFarlane ever did. It is actually, the gap is actually minimized and yeah, the mold looks good. And then he has a waist articulation. There's articulation there, then double jointed, oh, that's hard, wait, double jointed knee, so there's articulation like that, and then there's up, forward, toe articulation, 
And then it has an ankle rocker. He can kick forward that far. He can kick backward. He can kick forward pretty high, but the backward one is kind of limited by this by the diaphragm. And then you can do the bend them pretty well. And that's it for the articulation. For some size comparison, here he is with his weight made two pace. Here he is with the Riddler. And here he is with Batman. I came into the DC Multiverse line by McFarlane, thinking that I will be focusing my collection only on the comic version. But when McFarlane started doing this uh, Moby Wave with the Build-A-Figure, I don't know. I'm, I'm addicted to them. I just love them. I mean, I never thought that I will be excited with the Batman and Robin wave, considering that I never really liked the movie. Well, that's a lie. I like the movie because it's Batman. It's just the least one that I like of all the movie, of all the Batman movies. Anyway, bottom line, uh, I wasn't really planning on collecting movie figures, but this... This movie figures wave that McFarlane has been releasing changed my mind because they really look good. And this Robin figure is not different from it. The wired cape is a cherry on top on it, but yeah, this is a Robin that I never thought I would like to add in my collection. So it is a definite, it is a definite buy for me. So guys, if you reached this part of my video, thanks a lot. If you like my video, please don't forget to uh, like, share, and subscribe because it really helps a lot. And again, guys, enjoy life and keep collecting.